Hello everyone and welcome back to our weekly vlog. It's nice to talk to you again. I hope that you all enjoyed uh, the long weekend that we just had and that was following the Deepavali celebrations that we really enjoyed uh, last week. It was great to see so many activities and so much engagement from students. So thank you to everybody's participation and support of that event. Uh, part of that event also included some fundraising by some of our students and that's what I want to talk about uh, in this week's vlog. Um, just about how I'm impressed I am working with such talented students who really show care and compassion uh, for the community um, and realize their responsibility as global citizens. Uh, so one of the fundraising efforts from the Deepavali uh, activities uh, was that our students raised money and they bought some meals for Deepavali for our migrant workers here in Singapore and made all the arrangements themselves working with a, a local partner here to supply that food. So that was uh, really encouraging and enjoyable to see. We've also got some other fundraising activities uh, ongoing. Uh, today we've had some students who are uh, raising money for the Memory Project, which is a project we work with a partner to uh, share images with uh, and paintings and drawings of uh, Syrian refugees and support the Syrian refugee uh, crisis there. Um, that's been wonderful. Again, totally student-led and really good uh, to have seen. Uh, we also, a couple of weeks ago, had our primary uh, student action leadership team, SALT. Um, I think I spoke in one of the vlogs about the uh, arts and crafts stall that they were running. And the money that they raised from that, they're donating to the food bank. Uh, again, an organization I've spoken about before, which you're familiar with. Uh, out the money and the food donations we take on free dress days we donate to them but the student action leadership team in the primary school made the decision to donate that money uh, to them and I'm really encouraged by seeing their care and compassion that they demonstrate uh, through these different uh, activities. Uh, our student council you will have also seen the message from them that they are uh, organizing a Christmas cookbook um, and are taking uh, recipes and putting together that as a um, an activity for the end of term and in order to share the cookbook with the community and enjoy each other's cultures uh, through sharing different uh, food recipes. And then finally, we have, this is the month of November and a lot of fundraising goes to Men's Health this month. Um, you may be familiar with Movember and uh, one of our students is organizing a few events for next week and for the assemblies where they are running activities to help raise money and awareness of men's health issues. Uh, so that's really what I wanted to focus on this week. Um, like I say, I'm very proud of the students here at ISS. Uh, they've shown great um, creativity in some of these activities and awareness campaigns they're running. Uh, so well done to them and I hope that you can enjoy uh, seeing or hearing about them and contributing to them too. I hope that you have a really good weekend and I'll see you again next week.